Hey guys, it's the Soil Cloth here, and today in today's some monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Tenno Kihaku, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Tenno Kihaku is a denier, and his traits are going to be Hardened, AoE Stamina Leak, and AoE Stamina Removal. So he does actually have some pretty good traits, but honestly, they're not like super OP or anything, but they are still definitely decent. And then his relics are Trap and Trap, which are pretty good. And then if we go on down to pros and cons, he has four good spammable skills, making him fine against cooldown activation. He also has amazing cooldowns, amazing relic slots, two forms of denial and freeze and possession. He can either remove 50% or 100% stamina. He has good speed, evasion, removal, which is great. And then his cons are horrible trait. It lacks PER and trait to stable. I honestly don't think his trait is horrible, by the way. It isn't that bad. And then he has freeze and possession don't synergize very well and weak to control immunity trait. And I'll just go on down to his moveset to see what they're talking about. Alright, so he has an AoE freeze and possession, which is pretty good. He also has a freeze and 100% AoE stamina removal, which is an amazing move. He also has an AoE at freeze with single target possession. And then you get to pick between these four moves. So you can pick either an evasion removal with 100% stamina removal or an AoE 50% stamina removal with zero cooldown, or a freeze with zero cooldown, or a possession with zero cooldown. So this monster does have a ton of really great moves. I would definitely go with that AoE though. The AoE 50% stamina removal with zero cooldown. That one is definitely the best one in my opinion. Since of course he does already have the AoE 100%, so you don't really need the single target 100%. Or you could go with the single target 100% since you already have an AoE. But then you wouldn't have a zero cooldown AoE and this one isn't even zero cooldown. So I would probably go with the zero cooldown. And yeah, that is just what I would do. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would do though. Since there are a ton of options, this monster has quite a few really amazing moves. So yeah, overall really amazing moves. He also has a decent trait, I guess. It's not super good though, so don't really worry too much about ranking him up. It won't make him very much better. But yeah, his relics are really good and his moves are amazing. His moves are definitely the best part about him. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Tenno Kiyaku and if you guys are going to get him out of his current breeding event. And I'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye